Hi friends! This is kind of an odd post, but uh, I wanted to share how I have fixed and prettied up this little chair <laughs> uh, that is a twist chair for like a... We had one growing up for our pump organ, but this one's prettier and it has these spindles in the base, whereas mine just had wire. Um, and we used to spin each other around until it would stop and then on our stomachs like Superman. So I was been looking for one because I ended up with the pump organ but the chair was long since gone and I was so excited to find this at a thrift shop for five dollars. Now the one I originally had did not have these back spindles on it but um, I was gonna have a carpenter cut it and then put these grooves in it but I decided I don't want to spend the money <laughs> And I kind of think it's cool. So what I did was, first thing, it, it was kind of whining when I would spin it. The top spun around and didn't come out. And so I, the people donated it for that reason, I think. So I took some pliers and um, got the, the screw part out. I got this part out. Um, the top was spinning around. This part was secure. But this part was loose and was spinning around. So... What I did was get that part out, with um, unscrew it all the way out, pull it out, and then I put this magnetic thing down in there and I, I pulled out all the shards of metal. It was kind of scraping and making noises. I guess it hadn't been oiled in many years. So I took that the, all out. You can tip it upside down too, but with the magnet it just kind of pulled them towards it. So I used that extended scope. You can buy these for like five bucks, but I have one on my, on my little screwdriver. Then I, t I took the screws out, and I wish I had done this before I put that in, but um, anyway, you can see there's kind of a, a chip. Hopefully you can see this camera. It's brand new, and it's just blurry. There's kind of a split in the wood here, and, and in the top of this, it's just a round piece, and then they it's old because obviously it wasn't welded back then, but they had a metal shard, kind of a screw that they pushed in the side to keep it from spinning. Well, obviously that over the years has come loose. So I just took it to a weld shop and had them weld this to this. And then I screwed it back in and I lubricated, I got some some grease and lubricated in, in there so that it would spin freely and screwed it back on. Now I, I, you can mark the screws so that you can get the right one. These were weird. They were all different ones when I got it. So I just kept the ones that were in there because obviously they were working. And uh, I'll tell you about the stain in a second, but I want to just show you. So get it going in there. It spins really freely now that it's been oiled and it's working great. So anyway, there's that. So then with the stain, what I did was um, I found one that was a similar color. So early American was probably the closest one that I had. So I had a few scratches on it. Um, these little marks. Um, looks like drill marks, but I don't know. Anyway, so they were on there and this had some scrapes on it and obviously these were sharp because this was a back it had like a, a spindle back but they were broken when I got it so I took a chisel and I just chiseled it down and then I chiseled these flat and stained them and then I'm gonna buy some of these button they have these half inch or inch whatever button uh, plugs that you can put in there so I'm just gonna buy a couple of those I'm in a small town and I went today and nobody had them even like Home Depot doesn't have them online or anything and I know they have them because I had some at a secondhand store I almost bought a couple weeks back and I didn't and I also have some on another piece of furniture so I know they make them I just couldn't get them in town I live in a small town so anyway um, or what I could do is cut off a, a dowel and a one inch dowel cut it off and sand it and just have it look like those which I may end up having to do if I can't find some of these buttons cheap online so anyway um, See, it's going up and down freely. It spins great, and I tried it out with the pump organ, and it worked awesome. So, very happy about that, and uh, I just wanted to share that in case anybody has to do the same thing that I did. Um, I could, if I could find a woodworker, cut it down. I actually had it measured to cut it down so that it would just be the stool without this back part, but I don't think it really is going to matter too much to me whether it's there or not. Once I have the plugs in it, it will be, it'll be fine. So uh, if you have any questions, check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. 
I will go ahead and post pictures and um, what I ended up doing. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.